Hey, this is Al Bain from Al Bain for Leather, and we're going to talk about the tabletop bobbin winder on a typical saw machine. Uh, but we, what we have is a belt-driven winder. Okay? So the belt on the saw machine, as the wheel is spinning, is driving this wheel. Okay? So as it spins, it spins the winder around, and then the thread comes and loads on. Okay, a couple things that we want to understand is that when the bobbin becomes full, this little lever flips up and stops the action. The wheel that's being driven bounces against this little rubber pin here. Okay, and that's the brake. Okay, so here's how we load one. We have a, a bobbin already on here, but we're going to start all the way over from the very beginning. Okay, so we're going to load a cone in the basic fashion. The thread coming off the top, off the top of the cone through the eyelet or the grommet and down to the bobbin winder. Okay, I do mine a little bit different than everybody else, but you can do it any way you like. So I'm going to stick the thread in through the guide between the two tension discs. making sure I seat the thread all the way against the axle on the disc and then back out through the guide. This is the little part where there's controversy as to whether you need to do that. So some people don't do that and they'll just have that thread going straight out of the tension disc. I like ensuring uniform tension in the winding so I make sure that the thread travels through a consistent path. Can't see. Okay, so there you go. We're going off the stand to the first guide through the discs and back out through the guide again. Okay, now this is an M bobbin, which is a pretty large capacity bobbin. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cleat it off on the side of the rim with my finger and then I'm going to wind it up a couple times. Okay, as I'm winding, I'm winding on top of the thread as I've done it a minute ago. Leave it there. And then I'm going to slide it on to the axle, keeping tension on there so it doesn't unwind, and pushing the little lever so that it engages. Then I'm going to come back before the first guide and take out all the slack. This winder is now ready to go. Don't move. And we can wind a bobbin. So I'm going to turn on the machine and without any sewing going on, because this is the first bobbin I've ever filled on this machine, basically I'm going to make sure that there's no thread in the needle and I'm going to run the motor. Okay, You can go as fast as, it, as, you, as you deem possible or, or as safe as it needs to be. Let it go, let it go, let it go. We want to make sure that the thread is winding evenly across the bobbin. We don't want it building up too much on one side or the other. So there you go. See it's building up too much on the side. So I'm going to just help it a little bit and keep it over there on the one side. That, that little lever popping open means that the bobbin is basically full and now you see the wheel is stuck up against a little rubber brake. Okay? If you don't feel like you've got enough thread on the spool, then you can loosen or tighten this little screw and it's going to lower this little finger which is actually feeling the volume in the thread. So that little finger feels that the, th the bobbin becomes full and it basically pops it open. And now you can pull off your bobbin and load it into your machine as normal. Okay, let's talk about how to adjust this bobbin winder so that it's working at its peak efficiency. Okay, the bobbin winder is bolted down by two screws onto the tabletop. Okay, and we want that pulley and the belt in pretty straight alignment. 
Okay? So when we engage the winder, we want it to barely touch the belt. Just a little. See how much it's pushing in on the belt? Only about a quarter inch or so. If you over compress the belt, inevitably what's going to happen is it's going to put a lot of strain on the axle in, in here and develop a bunch of heat. But more importantly, the belt may end up slipping around the side and popping off of the winder because you've got too much tension on it. Okay, So make it so that it's only going about a quarter of an inch and then tighten up your set screws. If you find that the bobbin is winding heavily on one side, you can very gently loosen this screw. Don't take it out or anything, just loosen it up so you can manipulate the carriage and it's going to adjust the point where the guide is. You can move it over about a half inch one way or the other, but it's only going to need, for this one that's only loading a little bit to the operator's right, I'm going to move it over about a sixteenth of an inch and that's good to go. Anyway, I hope uh, this is useful and helpful to you. This is Albane, Albane for leather. And my grandson, take a look at the little boy. He's all patient, helping us do our day's work over here. And my daughter Holly, helping with the videography. Hi. Be well, and remember, pay it forward.